I interviewed Miss Fu Mei Xia, who used to live in a bungalow situated along Lorong Lao Kui. During that time, there's no gadget. Um, there's no games to play, so I have to be creative in what I have. So staying in a big house, having a garden. So I love going to the garden to plant stuff. Like I've planted a bitter god plant and you'll be climbing on the fence that's beside it. I've planted a papaya tree where, where I can I saw it from seed to a tree that is taller than me. Yeah, then I had a balsam plant and I will be playing with the seeds that it will burst when the, the, the seed is ripe. I also enjoy lying on my back at the car porch and looking at the sky and imagine all the clouds moving, passing by. There's also the, the, the chicken at the chicken coop. Every day, 3 o'clock, you'll be hearing the hens making lots of noise and you know that they are laying eggs. The house is actually, um, there's a river that next to our house. So when during raining, raining days, the water level will rise from the river and I could see little fishes swimming into the drain that's coming into our house. Yeah. I then showed her a map of the area to which we realised the river she was referring to was the Rangoon River. I remember it's either once a week or maybe once a month there will be a Pasar Malam at the main road. Yeah, so we'll, after dinner, we will, we will look forward. So as a family, we will walk out together to the main road. Actually, from my house to the main road is quite a distance. We have to walk in and out. Till today, my auntie is still, um, very, still laughing at me that when I was young, I refused to walk in the dark because it's not like everywhere there's lights. To walk, walk on this so-called soil to the main road. So I refuse to walk. So my mom will always have to piggyback me and she will be laughing at me that she still remember my legs will be swinging happily. So they will take turns to to piggyback me in and, and out. So when we're out there, I mean it's something like today's kind of pasamala. So they'll be selling up. There'll be stores selling stuff. We shifted to Topayo, Lorong 1. Was it a HDB flat? Yes. And um, I only remember one day when I took the school bus and I came back home. Um, while walking towards the house, I saw the bulldozer was near my house and they were starting to, to dig out all the soil to chase the neighbour out. So that that's where um, I realize that yeah what is shifting all about with Singapore's redevelopment plans in the 1970s onwards Singapore's physical landscape has changed tremendously together with my interviewee Miss Fu we visited the present site of Lorong Lao Kun The piece of land that her bungalow used to be located on is now Holy Innocence Primary School. We then walked along the road that her mother used to piggyback her on on the way to the Pasamalam on the main road. She mentions that her old bungalow used to look like one of these along Lorong Lao Kun now. Even though Lorong Lao Kun's physical appearance has changed a lot over the years due to the redevelopment of the area, it is undeniable that this place still holds a special place in its former residents' hearts. We've come so 